Greetings artists. Today we will be making Celtic knots. You need a sheet of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Gather your materials now. Once you have your paper, you will fold it in half and then fold it in half again. It doesn't matter which way you get to your four quadrants, just make sure you have four. Label your paper Celtic knots. Be sure to write your name, date, and class period on your paper. We will start out by making a three dot by four dot grid. That's three rows and four columns. Ghost the line so that you can make sure your dots are aligned. And again, you will need three rows and four columns. Do this now. Next, we will add guide dots and the gaps in between the weaves. Notice that I'm marking the middle dot in the first column, all three dots on the second column, all three dots on the third column, and then the middle dot on the last column. Next, you will add a dot in between each of your original dots and another larger circle around them. Now add tangent lines. These are parallel lines between your dots that are double circled. Start with one section of your grid and then go to the next section. Don't jump around. You need to make sure everything lines up. So if you start in the bottom left, work from the bottom left. If you start in the top right, work from the top right. You're going to make an over and under pattern. After you have created this pattern, you will connect the corners and then you'll do the middle weave. We'll start with the corners. You'll go around your circles within a circle and you'll make sure to touch the single dots. The areas in between the weave, you will go around the circles within a circle. Next, connect the middle weave. Notice I'm showing where it goes under and where it goes over. Using a pen or a soft graphite pencil, go over your lines to define your pattern. I recommend turning your paper so that you can easily trace over your work. I haven't moved mine so I can make it easy for the camera. After you have traced over your work, go ahead and fill in the spaces between the weaves. That's our circles within a circle. And then add an outline to the perimeter. Thank you and I look forward to seeing what you create.